this happens to be one of those opportunities, and I wish and hope that we could continue to have more of this kind of dialogue in Uganda and also in other partner states. Very, very, very key. There is no better mobilization of resources, domestic resources, than enhancing the benefits of the community. If you look at the treaty and all its components, it's actually about enhancing resources, pulling together in terms of labor, in terms of resources, natural resources, in terms of the market in general, so that we become better. But quite often, I think that, I personally think that there is lack of awareness of these benefits. And so I would like to add just quickly that in order to remove the harmful competition, I mean, Honorable Katechu put it very well by calling them, calling it harmful competition. Indeed, the way East Africans are competing can only be harmful to ourselves. And to me, in order to get quick benefits, we need to do more sensitization, retooling, reskilling the decision makers within the community. This kind of group that we have right here, parliamentarians, commissioners, the URA, the level that makes decisions that would make a difference in terms of getting the benefits realized. So let's have more of those, this. In other words, I'm appreciating uh, this dialogue and I'm calling for more, which will also make it easier for us as members of parliament or the other who will present you to be able to target and reap better benefits for the partner states. And let's not, let it not end in Uganda alone. Let this kind of dialogue by the different organizations that have organized it be present in other partner states. I thank you very much.